Genesis filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy last night came as a surprise to virtually no one. It's had withdrawals halted since November, which is also back when the Wall Street Journal reported that Genesis was looking for an emergency bailout of $1 billion and could not find any takers. But even though we knew it was coming, it's still a significant hit to Barry Silbert's crypto empire. Now, in terms of the filing that went up on the court docket late last night, we're specifically talking about the crypto lending business at Genesis. The company's derivatives and spot trading business will continue unhindered, as will Genesis Global Trading. The company listed over 100,000 creditors with Gemini at the top of that list. It also had aggregate liabilities, potentially as high as $11 billion. This puts Genesis alongside other fallen crypto exchanges and lenders, including BlockFi, FTX, Celsius, and Voyager. In terms of how we got here, now, even though things went south for Genesis in November, problems at the company really go back to this spring and the now bankrupt crypto hedge fund Three Arrows Capital. Genesis had loaned them over $2.3 billion worth of assets, and that's part of why the Genesis failure is so hard on its parent company, Digital Currency Group. DCG was forced to take over its billion-dollar liability stemming from the 3AC collapse. So DCG itself now owes a growing debt of more than $3 billion in this sort of endless knock-on contagion effect. It's also worth noting, Dom, that Coindesk, another DCG property, is reportedly looking for a buyer. And there are reports that DCG has suspended dividends this week in an apparent effort to save cash. Okay, so, so this is important because you mentioned Gemini, right? And, and that's the Winklevoss brothers who run Gemini. And, and Barry Silbert at DCG, they've been locked in this very heated exchange for weeks now. Gemini is listed as the top unsecured creditor, as you point out. Now, we heard from Cameron Winklevoss last night. Where does Gemini fit into the story here? Why is, exactly is there so much animosity right now growing between Silbert and the Winklevi? Yeah, it's a great question. So Gemini is a huge part of this Genesis bankruptcy. Last night's filing lists the 50 largest unsecured creditors, and Gemini is at the top of that list by a mile, $765.9 million, more than $300 million up from the next creditor on the list. And Gemini was linked to Genesis through an offering called Earn, this nearly two-year-old product from Gemini that promoted returns of up to 8% on customer deposits. With Earn, Gemini loaned client money to Genesis for placement across various crypto trading desks and borrowers. And for a while, the partnership worked out great. But when Genesis halted withdrawals in November, it forced Gemini to quickly follow suit with its Earn product. And now Gemini has more than 340,000 very unhappy customers of its own. And since then, the Winklevoss brothers and Barry Silbert have been locked in this heated and at times very public fight. So as you said, Cameron Winklevoss was quick to respond to the bankruptcy news, tweeting last night that Silbert and DCG, quote, continue to refuse to offer creditors a fair deal. He added that they had been preparing to take direct legal action against Barry, DCG, and others. So certainly not mincing words here, Dom.